Welcome back to Water Watch, your go-to source for updates on water levels, drought conditions, and snowpack across the western United States. In this update, we're breaking down the latest conditions at Lake Mead, Lake Powell, and the Great Salt Lake, as well as the current drought situation and snowpack levels that will determine water supplies heading into spring. Let's dive in. Starting with Lake Mead, the nation's largest reservoir and a key water source for millions across the southwest. Lake Mead's water level is currently at 1,067 feet, which is 161 feet below full pool and 35% full. Since reaching its high for the water year, it has dropped one foot, and this downward trend is likely to continue. Even though the Colorado River's spring runoff will bring some inflows later in the season, much of that water will be absorbed by Lake Powell, meaning Mead's levels will likely see little benefit. Without major above-average snowfall or significant changes in water management, Lake Mead is expected to keep declining through the summer and into next winter as evaporation and water demand outpace incoming flows. Upstream at Lake Powell, conditions remain challenging. Powell is currently at 3,560 feet, sitting 139 feet below full pool and just 32% full. Right now, Lake Powell is at its lowest point for this water year, and it will likely continue to decline for another month until spring runoff begins. While the snowpack in the upper Colorado River Basin is tracking near average, the big question will be if inflows are strong enough to restore these declines when the snow starts melting and how much the lake will rise. Now shifting to the Great Salt Lake, which has seen a slow but steady improvement in recent months. The south arm of the lake is currently at 4,193.5 feet, while the north arm sits at 4,192.6 feet. Both have been steadily rising since December, marking some encouraging progress compared to 2022's record low levels. With above average snowpack in the Great Salt Lake Basin, there's potential for further gains once runoff begins in the coming months. Taking a wider look at drought conditions, much of the southwest remains in moderate to extreme drought, with Lake Mead and southwestern Arizona in exceptional drought, the most severe category. Meanwhile, most of Utah and Idaho remain abnormally dry or in moderate drought, putting additional strain on local water resources. On the positive side, most of northern California, Oregon, Idaho, and Colorado remain drought-free, thanks to steady precipitation in recent months. However, Washington has developed an area of moderate drought in recent weeks, highlighting how conditions continue to fluctuate across the region. Now let's talk about snowpack, which will be the key driver of water supply in the coming months. As of today, the upper Colorado River snowpack, which feeds Lake Powell and then Lake Mead, is at 97% of the historical average, meaning it is tracking close to normal levels. However, the lower Colorado River snowpack is at just 70%, meaning there will likely be below average runoff from that region. In contrast, the Great Salt Lake snowpack is currently at 113% of normal, which is a strong indicator that the lake could continue to rise with spring snowmelt. Looking ahead, the next few months will be critical in determining whether Lake Mead and Lake Powell can stabilize and whether the Great Salt Lake can continue its recovery. While snowpack levels are near or slightly above average in some areas, reservoirs are still low and drought conditions persist across much of the southwest. If spring runoff is strong, we could see some relief. But if temperatures warm too quickly or precipitation drops off, we could see continued struggles for these major water sources. That's it for this week's Water Watch. If you found this update helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss future updates on water levels, drought conditions, and snowpack across the West. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.